All right, it is time for our next community conversation. We are joined by Andy Pillafont, the Director of Communications at the Paramount Theater. Hey there, Steve. All right, Casey, Andy, thanks as always. We're gonna start with immediate events and what matters most. What matters most tomorrow is Ben Folds at the Paramount Theater. Um, so that's a joke because that's the name of the tour it and the name half a second, didn't and it? the name <laughs> of his album. Um, yeah, we're very excited to have Ben Folds at the theater. A lot of people have been asking, will he have a band? Is he by himself? This is a solo show. Um, although when you look at a tour, it's interesting because when he's in Michigan he's, or Minnesota, he's playing with the Minnesota Orchestra. When he's in Texas, he's playing with the uh, a symphony down there. When he's uh, in Europe, he's playing with a band. Um, I was reading up on this today, and he's saying this might be his last rock album, really? which is kind of interesting. Um, maybe moving into musicals. He's not sure. He's going to kind of see what happens. But um, yeah, this album just came out in June. He's touring to support it. Uh, ben Foltz has been in town before, and I know a lot of folks uh, are very excited to see him, and that will be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. All right, we'll move on from there, and after you get home from the tour, get a good night's sleep, maybe come out for a tour, a tour of a different kind on Wednesday morning. Yeah, so we have three historical tours um, this week. We have two of them on Wednesday, one at 11 and the other at 5.30, and then we have one on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. These are free. We do ask that you register in advance. Uh, this is a great opportunity to learn more about the theater, which uh, opened for the first time in 1931. So we are coming up on our 92nd anniversary. Um, you get to go backstage, look at the Wall of Fame. You learn more about the architecture uh, of the building and hear more about the Paramount story, um, which is, you know, got 90 plus years uh, to it. Um, anytime I do these tours, I always ask people to get on stage and they can sing a note or tell a <laughs> joke. Uh, and then they can say they performed uh, at the Paramount. So we are thrilled to do these. They're a lot of fun. They take about an hour. Um, and we definitely recommend you bring a camera and take some pictures. Nice. Explain to us a little bit about uh, Go On, Be Brave on Saturday. Yeah, so this is a documentary about a woman named uh, Andrea Lytle Pete, who at 33, she's a triathlete, she gets the devastating diagnosis that she has ALS. And obviously it changes everything. Um, one of the things that inspired her to do was to complete a marathon in each of the 50 states. And so this is a documentary about her very ambitious quest to do just that. So it's about that. It's about the community that she creates around her. Um, it is about living. It is about not dying. Um, and it's a really inspiring story. Uh, Prolific Run Crew will be uh, at the theater as well to do a screening of, of their short film beforehand. And um, we can also help with some pre-signed copies of her book um, called Hope Fights Back. Um, and those will be available as well. That's on Saturday. All right, and of course, Sunday evening, not, not, the theater won't be vacant either. No, it will be um, brimming with voices, Steve. <laughs> uh, Voctiv will be at the theater on Sunday night. Um, this is an 11 person strong acapella group. Um, they have nine albums, their social media uh, posts have been viewed over 150 million times. They have collaborated with all kinds of performers. Um, you know, it's a mix of kind of Disney tunes, gospel, Broadway, um, a lot of stuff happening here. And, you know, when you've got acapella like this with this many people, think about one person as an instrument that can play I don't know, a dozen, two dozen different types, times 11. It's, it's really, really impressive. They are a big deal in the acapella world. Um, that's 7.30 on Sunday night. All right, Andy, thanks as always. Thanks, Steve. Casey.